Hey, how's it going, Mayor? My name is Jack Kim here with Mr. and Mrs. Leeds. I uh, wanted to first thank you for trying out the site auditor. I hope you got some insight out of that. Um, I wanted to follow up with the video analysis while I had some free time here at the office and kind of show you what I can see as a search marketer in terms of your SEO and what's been working for you and what's not working for you, as well as how we could help if we were to move forward together with this. So um, let me go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did was I pulled up your website on a tool called AREFs. AREFs allow search marketers like myself to take a look at the metrics of a website and kind of see what's been working for you in terms of your SEO efforts. Right. So right off the bat, I can look, I can see that you have backlinks and referring domains. So your backlinks and referring domains are the number of websites that are pointing back to your website. So if there is a website out there called um, draperyandshadesblog.com, and they went out there and made a blog post, and then at the end of it, they said, hey, go check out, um, if you live in New Jersey and you need um, a custom drapery, go check out customdraperyandshades.com, right? And there was that link and they pointed back to your website. Um, Google actually tracks all these different websites that point back to your website and uh, uses that to determine how authoritative your website is. So it's kind of like a popularity contest. You want a lot of these quality, relevant websites to uh, link back and have a and provide a backlink and point that back to your website because it shows Google that you uh, get referred to a lot, right? Because linking it to your website is kind of like referring them, as well as um, you just seem popular because you have a lot of these websites pointing to your website. And so all that helps in showing Google that you're an authoritative website and you're an authority in this niche. And um, it's just going to help you rank higher in Google's search engine because you're going to have that website's going to hold more value in Google's eyes and um, it's going to just uh, rank a lot higher than your competition because your competition is not going to be. Um, not going to have as much backlinks as you and it's just not going to seem as authoritative, right? So that's a very important aspect in Google's algorithm and um, making your website show up higher in Google's eyes. So you definitely just want a lot more backlinks. Right now, 64 referring domains on backlinks is okay, right? We definitely want to shoot for about three, 400 referring domains on about 3,000 backlinks. That's really going to show Google that you're an authority in this space and um, you deserve to be at the top of Google's rankings, right? So we definitely want to do that. Uh, the next thing was um, right here, if you can see right here is your organic keywords. Your organic keywords are the number of different kind of keywords that you currently rank in Google. So it could be custom drapery NJ, and that could be a phrase you currently rank in Google for. Uh, the other thing right here is your organic traffic. This is just basically the number of people that are visiting your website per month. Um, and it looks like 29. So definitely room for improvement because there's a lot of keywords that you could currently capture uh, moving forward. Um, the next thing I want to point you towards is right here. This right here, this tool inside AREFs allows us to look at exactly what kind of keywords you currently rank for and um, and where your position is right now. So you can see right here window treats, um, at specifically in the New Jersey area, you hold that number one spot. Window treats red bank, red bank looks like you hold the number one spot as well. And then you can see right here window treatments. Now, these are the kinds of things where you really want to hold the top one spot. Reason being is when they add the um, location um, verbiage in that keyword, they're very specifically targeting um, a, a store or location near them, right? So if someone types in window treatments in general, right, they might not necessarily be looking for a company to um, uh, or a business to maybe get some window treatment through, right? Maybe they just want some information. But by typing in that location like window treatments NJ, it's a very specific uh, keyword because if you imagine the type of people that are typing in window treatments NJ, the reason why they're typing that location is because they want to find a store that's near them that they can actually visit or, or talk to or call and get some quote or something out because it's specifically for that location and they actually want to talk to someone, right? So right now, these are the kinds of things you definitely want to hold the top spot for. Um, window treatments NJ looks like you're in the fourth position. Um, Custom Drapers NJ, you're on the eighth position. Custom Draper, eighth position. Custom Drapers, uh, tenth position. So these are all like the different phrases that um, people are typing into Google for the kind of services that you provide. And um, you're just not holding the number one spot for a lot of these. And the reason being is because you just haven't had um, SEO person go in there and make sure that they're optimizing it specifically for these kinds of keywords, right? So what we do is we use tools like this here and we kind of reverse engineer it right we work backwards instead of building out a website what we do is we actually just 
um, find the kind of keywords where people are actually searching into Google, where there's lots of volume, there's not a lot of difficulty in there, right? And then um, the kinds of specific keywords where people are, are really looking for your service and it's very targeted traffic, right? So we want to make sure that we focus, it, focus our SEO efforts on those kinds of things and we work backwards where we capture the keywords that people are trying to bring, uh, searching for and then we work our way into ranking for those kinds of phrases. So um, what you can see right here is kind of uh, going back to this, you can see for all these different phrases, they're currently pointing into your home page, right? So it just goes into www.customdraperyandshades.com. Now, it's possible, and this is exactly how we would go about doing it, um, to actually rank for an inner page. Uh, on your website for the different kinds of phrases. So when someone types in Hunter Douglas Silhouette A Do, right? There's 30 searches per month for that. You actually rank 18th for it, but it's not actually not your home page that's ranking for that phrase. It's actually this page right here, blog.customdraperyandshades.com, Hunter Douglas Window Fashions. So this is actually the website web page that it actually takes them to when people search up for that phrase. What we want to do is we want to build out an inner page on your website. So um, let's say that we go into here and we click on this. So this is an inner page right here within your website, and, I, and I'll pull up that address here in a second as long as it doesn't. Let's try this one. Okay, it looks like your website's a little bit slow. Now, I love the website design. I would. I wouldn't do like a website rebuild. We would just build out the inner pages for it. But anyways, um, kind of going back to my point, we would build out each of those inner pages, add content on there, and make sure that we're specifically targeting um, the the keyword that we're trying to grab after, right? So if it was custom blinds NJ, we would have it like instead of .com slash about, it would be slash custom, uh, drew, uh, what did I say? Custom blinds. So it would be slash custom dash blinds dash NJ, right? And then, and then optimize that web page specifically for that phrase so that you start ranking for that inner page for that and then you can start direct, directing them to the rest of the, uh, the website. So that's the kind of thing that we would do. We would capture about 10 of these um, keywords that people are searching for into Google that have a lot of search volume and then we would just uh, build out those inner pages specifically targeting those keywords. Keep on sending those links uh, to the home page and the inner page to show Google that you're authoritative and it's all going to help show Google that um, you deserve to hold the number one spot and then you're going to start capturing the number one spot, right? So that now your website isn't just kind of a website where you direct them to. It's the kind of thing where it's capturing leads and it's generating traffic um, purely from people typing in phrases like uh, wind custom draperies, New Jersey, window treatments, New Jersey, and things like that. Right, and so we would love to work uh, with you moving forward. It looks like it's Window Treats Incorporated, and just the website name is Custom Draper and Shades. Okay, that makes sense. And so, um, yeah, we would love to work with you moving forward. It's just a matter of kind of getting in contact, talking about pricing, and um, what what we can do to move forward. So I'll shoot you an email um, with this video. Um, you can reply back to that through that email. I'll also attach my phone number and it's my personal cell phone number that way you don't get filtered through anything. That way in case you have any questions for me I'll be able to answer it by email or, or, or phone. Just kind of depends on what you want to do and then we can just kind of go from there. So again I appreciate if you saw this video all the way through Mayor and uh, we'll just kind of move forward from there and um, hope to talk to you soon. Alright have a great rest of your day and take care. Thank you.